Hi friends, author Chris McIntyre here, Lady Mac XO, and I just wanted you guys to know that I've just launched a brand new short story called Three's Company in the Club. It does involve bondage, multiple partners, uh, consent, safe words, so forewarning. It is available for free on my website right now, ladymacxo.com. Just click on uh, give me the free stuff or send me the free stuff or whatever the button says right now. And it'll email you um, this, sort, this short story um, as well as a whole bunch of other free stories and free material. But for now, as promised, I wanted to share with you guys a little teaser of the story. Now I'm still working on my audio. So if I stumble, I'm probably going to keep it because I've already taken multiple takes <laughs> and I'm working on an audio of Cuffed right now and it is not easy. It also deserves an outtake reel of its own. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Again, the story is called Three's Company in the Club and it is available on my website. Alice wanders into the club that night filled with anticipation, uncertainty, and sexual excitement. She had heard some interesting things about the place and is eager to check it out for herself. She's single and it's a Saturday night. Why not have some fun? So she had dolled herself up, put on some sexy shoes, and here she is, ready for whatever the night will bring. She orders herself a drink and then wanders to the dance floor, swaying by herself for a little bit, taking in the people around her. There are couples and smaller groups of people making out and groping one another among the tables, grinding into one another on the dance floor, and after seeing the flash of a handful of nipples and one very firm ass cheek in the first few minutes, she is already convinced that this is not the average club and likely lives up to its reputation. As Alice dances, she notices a man staring at her from the bar, a good-looking, taller blonde man with a lovely smile. And as he winks at her, she smiles back. Later, while at the bar for a second drink, another man offers to pay for it. He's a bit shorter and much stockier than the first guy, but still is good looking. And she accepts gracefully, ex exchanging pleasant chat with him for a moment before parting ways. The brief encounter has left her feeling excited. Two men have already eyed her up tonight, and one had bought her a drink. It's turning into a fine night already. Making her, making her way back to the dance floor, she closes her eyes and lets her body sway to the music for a couple songs before she feels a man move up along beside her, almost touching her, dancing in rhythm with her. She opens her eyes to find the man had first smiled at her dancing closely to her left, and he nods his head toward her with his hand out, requesting her permission to pull her against him to dance. The music is loud and the bass shakes the floor, making conversation impossible. Alice smiles at him and steps closer, taking his hand in response. He pulls her into him and they begin dancing together, grinding slowly. His body fits nicely against hers. As they move to the beat, she feels her pussy grow damp in excitement as the sense of a strong male so close, strong hands holding her tightly, and she briefly lets herself wonder if anything more could happen between her and this handsome stranger tonight. I'm wondering if I should have blanked that word out. That thought is interrupted seconds later as she sees someone make his way to her other side and politely ask to join in. It's the guy that had bought her a drink earlier. Alice has a chance to think that these guys sure don't mind direct competition before the guy she had been dancing at raises his eyebrows at her and smiles, indicating that he doesn't mind at all if they all dance and grind together. What the hell, she thinks. She came here to have some fun tonight. This is a sex club, after all. And if these two men don't seem intimidated by one another and both want to dance with her, she's going to enjoy the dance. Besides, her pussy is all but drenching her panties right now. She can feel them clinging to her wet lips, and she's curious how far this will go. She smiles at them both as they start to dance in a rhythm together, taking turns holding her and pulling her close, and she closes her eyes and lets herself get pulled into the sway of their bodies pressed tightly against her as the music flows. Okay, I'm going to stop that because it starts to get a little explicit. But to fill in the rest, the men dance with her for a bit, 
and then take her back to another room in the club where some yummy things happen. So again, if you want the full reading, I'm going to post it later on my Patreon. And if you'd like the full story as a PDF to download, it's yours for free. Head over to my website, ladymacxo.com and click on sign me up for the free stuff. Um, I'm really grateful that you guys are here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I love your support. If you like erotica, I have six full length novels available on my website as well and a ton of free erotica blogs as well as the follow up to this new short story will be called The Cleanup. Uh, it's a second ending and it will be available as a blog at the end of April. Okay, that's everything. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Um, you're the best. I love you so much and enjoy your day.